Good morning guys, welcome to Christmas Eve's Eve. It's the Eve before Christmas Eve. Even Ruby's excited. Ruby's excited. <laughs> Even the chickens are excited. I don't know about you guys, but Jesus is the reason for the season and I'm so excited to give my family and my friends gifts and make their day and try and make their day happier. It's like one of my favorite parts of Christmas is to be able to give gifts. And I love giving gifts to my family. We got Gabby in the shower, Sophie in the other bathroom getting ready, Sam's out doing horses, and I'm headed down to do the goats. It is seven, no, it is six a.m. <laughs> and we're headed out because today we celebrate Christmas with Sam's family. Trying to teach Ellie not to chase Ruby. It's becoming such a awful thing for poor Ruby. Ellie, come, come here. Ah. <laughs> See, all she wants to do is chase at Ruby and bite her ankles. Watch, I'll show you. I'll show you as we get moving. And it's and it's sad because Ruby, Ruby won't tell her off. She doesn't do it to any of the other dogs because they would eat her. And Ruby won't because Ruby's the sweetest dog. To be honest, Ruby probably wins for sweetest dog. She never ever reacts in a strong way, meanly. Even on Christmas, I love coming into the barn. It's gorgeous out. Oh, Sam so got the hay bag off. That means a new hay bag. I love the barn early in the morning. It reminds me of, oh, where's my girl? I wanted to say happy Christmas, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve's Eve. Well, hello. We can hardly see you guys. All I have today are mints. It is Christmas, you know. Merry Christmas, Stormy Boy. You want it? He hates mints. He won't eat it. But Penny loves mints. Merry Christmas Eve, Penny. Storm. It's just mints and you hate them. He's like, I don't want that. Merry Christmas Eve, Gracie. Merry Christmas Eve's Eve. It's not Christmas Eve yet, but when you guys are watching this, it'll be Christmas Eve. Here, it's a mint for you. Do you like mints? She's like, yes, I do. <laughs> oh, she doesn't, it's down here. Oh, holy moly, there you go. Are you gonna eat it or no? I can't tell if she likes it or she's just gonna drop it. She likes it. All right, this is why we don't ride our horses too much right now. The ground is really hard and it has like, <laughs> now I have <laughs> people following me. Yes, I call my horses people because they're souls just like us. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm excited. But before these next three days of festivities begin, I do wanna say that I know not everybody has family to be with on Christmas, and I know Christmas isn't always a happy time for everyone. I know that Christmas can be super stressful, and I just wanna say, I wish you were all celebrating with us. I wish I could. I wish I could invite everyone who needs someone for Christmas. I'll be thinking of you as we celebrate Christmas and I hope and I hope that sharing our Christmas will help someone be at least a little less lonely. So come along and join our Christmas festivities with the goats, with the goats and the goose and the duck and the horses. All right, I'm done. Done for this morning. Everybody's out. Everything's cleaned. I love being in the barn. I love the goat barn. I love the horse barn. This little baby, when I pet everybody else, she stays behind. And she has her grain inside. I put a little bit of grain outside so that they all run out, but she doesn't run out because they all push her off. So she knows if she stays back, I'll make sure to give her some grain inside. It's time for you to go out though, little girl. There's stuff in there she doesn't like, so she's trying to pick through it. Every experience is meant to teach you something. And I'm super emotional when it comes to anybody suffering. So it was really good that we got her because when we got our other goats, I was really stressed for a really long time trying to get them to gain weight. Come on, come here little princess. Out you go, you're headed out, out, get out there. 
so having her and seeing the difference how like she's so healthy and and was easy to maintain weight on her so easy and the others were so difficult it honestly was just so much easier it just taught me a lot about not getting worked up and not getting stressed out about goats that take forever to gain weight or any animal that takes forever to gain weight because now I know for sure it just takes time but, but you know what's super interesting come on dogs come on Ruby Ruby come on out but you know what's super interesting Allie <laughs> but do you know what's super in ow you're horning me put your horns in me what the heck I've never been horned before I got goats anyways do you know what is super interesting to me the fact that Sophie fell on her head a year ago and it was like the worst thing ever. It was just awful. But it led to us finding out that she has medical issues that we weren't even aware of. And the cure for those medical issues are probably gonna change her life forever. Just knowing that she has them can change her life. But, but fixing them is really gonna change her life. God for sure knows what he's doing. And as is such a perfect example. She is such a perfect example of how tragedy often leads to triumph. A year ago, I was so upset that she had fallen and she was hurt. And now a year later, she has a whole new future outlook for her life. Sometimes it takes a while to figure out how to find the good in everything. But I challenge you this 2024 20, season, find the good in everything. Look for the good. Because when you only see the good, that has the power to transform your life too. You're bringing a blanket? A it's blanket. dark in here. And you're gonna bring your yarn? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna make a hat. Oh my gosh, you guys. She wants to learn how to make a different hat. I said, do you want me to teach you? And what did you say? Found a video of someone making a hat. Yeah, she saw a video, so she's gonna do it. And she will, she'll just whip it up and it'll be done and it'll shock me. Every holiday, I bring Sam's mom a bunch of eggs. Do you guys know like a big thing of 18 eggs costs seven bucks here? <laughs> and we are swimming in eggs, swimming in eggs. We have so many eggs. The whole bottom of our fridge is full of eggs. So I like to give everybody at Christmas time before they leave my house a bunch of eggs. <laughs> it may sound weird, but we have a lot and I like to share. If you're wondering what we're doing in the car, we're waiting for the girls. We're the first ones, we were the first ones up. We let them get ready, we did chores while they got ready, still not ready. We start every road trip with Tim Hortons, coffee and breakfast. Takes us about two, two and a half hours to get to Sam's parents' house. We stop at his grandpa's house first. I actually filmed a bunch of footage of our meal because Sam's mom is an amazing cook on my phone, but for some reason it won't let me send it to my computer, so I can't share it with you, but just know we had an amazing meal. So we're at Sam's grandfather's house. And when you're at Sam's grandfather's house, you drink wine. Even the kids drink wine. We're all drinking wine. Yeah, I'm having wine. Gabby's having wine. But look at, look at the picture he has on his the picture he has on his table. Finny. Only one remains. That's so sad. Are you having wine? I'm having some yours. To be clear, none of us like wine. We just do it out of respect for Sam's grandpa. Sam's grandpa has lived in Canada for 58 years. Still only speaks Italian. But also, in Italy, even two, little tiny two-year-olds drink wine for dinner. At dinner time, everybody in Italy drinks wine. That is disgusting. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's not my favorite either. I don't like it, the kind of wine that they drink. But anyways, when we go and visit him, everybody drinks wine. There are no excuses. Even Sophie had to have a little tiny sip so she could cheers for the holiday season. The girls had so much fun with their cousins. Sam's mom made this amazing little chocolate sleigh and the girls got a ton of money to start this holiday season off. Today is Christmas Eve for you guys, and I just want to wish you all a very merry holiday season, and I want to thank you for sharing our holiday season with us. Merry Christmas, guys. Get ready for some Christmas vlogs. Don't you know that you're beautiful?